Now group buy and pivot buy are still in beta as of February 25th, but they should be released to everyone soon. And one of the questions is, well, if a pivot table can group by year and month, can we get it to work in group buy and pivot buy? Now here's a shout out to an Excel instructor here at YouTube, my rad friend, Radislaw. Go and subscribe. The link is below in the description. You betcha. Well, the problem is we have dates here and we really need a column for year and month that encodes each record with the year and month. Well, we're gonna use the end of the month function. We'll give it the entire column of dates, comma zero to get the end of this month. Now, this is one of the analysis tool pack functions that does not do function argument array operations. So you have to remember to do plus, that's what Excel Lambda likes to do, or double negative. When I control enter, well, those aren't formatted correctly, but they definitely encode each row with the correct end of the month. Now I need two columns and I'm gonna stack them horizontally. Array one will be year. This function has no problem with function argument array operations, comma. So now we have two columns, year and month. And notice I actually have formatting already here, control one, custom formatting MMM. That just shows the end of the month as three letter text. But now we can put this into pivot by or group by. We'll start with group by. There's the row fields, exactly the same height as this, but with the correct two variable columns, year and end of the month, comma, the values, well, there they are, comma, the function, S-U-M, comma, and we don't have headers in our data set, so I'm gonna put a zero, because I've already typed them at the top, and control enter, bam, there it is, year by month sales report using group by. Now, pivot by works, but I wouldn't want to set this up as a cross tab because there would be too many empty cells. So I need to skip over columns and control enter pivot by does exactly the same thing. Now, if you want subtotals, I'm not going to do that in this video, but there's my first attempt at subtotals. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.